Okay, so today uh, we're going to learn why you shouldn't drive with shit bald tires in the wet. And we here we've got the TF Rodeo turbo diesel. And it's, as you can see, raining outside. It's been a bit wet. It was raining early this morning. So I was driving earlier this morning and I went around a corner in fourth gear. I fucked up my rim. Skidded out. Thought, tried to correct it, overcorrected. And uh, yeah, just ended up facing the wrong way on the road and the rear wheels went up and hit a curb and uh, the rear left took the brunt of it. And uh, yeah, so I probably shouldn't have been driving on these tyres anyway because they're pretty much bald. As you can see, they were meant to be little things to whip water out of there, but they're pretty much worn down. And they're also all terrain, specialised for modern sand, so... And a shit brand, Kumo as well. I should have got something a bit better. I was going to get new tyres soon, but yeah, I don't know, um, never had this happen before. I thought I could correct it. And so I was just looking here at the brake drum, inspecting all my suspension components, and I'm going to rotate the brake drum now to see if there's any play in it. There didn't seem to be any play in the actual suspension components because the, you know, it's an Isuzu and it's got extremely strong suspension components, which I'm fairly grateful for. And uh, yeah, I was shaking it around, but so I do have a spare rim and tire. I've got two spares actually, but they're pretty much bald as well. So I'm going to have to go and get new tires. Yeah. And I have to put my rusty old rims back on. So yeah, that sucks. So yeah, that is your lesson. Don't drive around on 10 year old. Look at this. On 10 year old, pretty much bald tires in the wet. That's less than, you know, my finger now. And look how tr torn up the tread is. That's from driving on gravel all the time.